More than two weeks after George Floyd died in police custody, the fight for justice continues. And many of the movement's leaders are among our up and coming generations. New at 6, CBS 13's Heather Jansen has more on how young people are paving the way for change. Say his name, George Floyd! Say his Leading name, this chant, a group of high schoolers in Rancho Cordova. And they're not alone. This cause, fighting racial injustice in the country, led by young activists like Keisha Swaggart. The youth, we hold all the power right now. We're the, we're the upcoming next generation. They're seen in the crowds of nearly every protest in the Sacramento area, many realizing the value of their voice. Without, without us, there is no future. Young adults like Javon Bowie proving you're never too young to make your voice heard. He's inspired by those that surround him. It's time for us younger individuals to get out and do what we need to do to uh, bring change to, to the world. But Sac State Ethnic Studies professor Dr. Andrea Moore says historically change is often led by the youth. They are the ones typically who push these movements and, and who lead these movements. These days, though, social media gives them another way to step up their game, another way to get their platforms heard. Because they're seeing so many young folks get involved, it, it, it allows them to do something as well. This younger generation's message to their peers, keep the momentum, make it a movement, not just a moment. You see the youth is starting to care and we have a problem, then that's a problem because our parents have already went through all this. And Dr. Moore says this could lead to more young people voting in November. In fact, Swaggart and Bowie uh, both say they and their peers plan on taking their momentum to the polls.